Hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and I apologize if my voice sounds weird, this is the fifth tutorial I've recorded today. Uh, but welcome back to another Love 0.9.0 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the rather, rather small module, I think it's about the same size as, uh, Love Dot, uh, System? No, not Love, yes, Love Dot System. It's about the same size as Love Dot System. Um, maybe bigger, maybe smaller, but, um, it is Love Dot Timer, and Love Dot Timer allows you to get certain time things. Uh, like delta, average delta over a second, so every second it will return the average delta time over that second. And love that sleep, which will let your system will let the thread sleep for a certain amount of seconds. Uh, in love 0 0.8.0, let uh, you were able to let it sleep for a certain amount of milliseconds, but instead now you can just give like seconds and convert that into milliseconds if you want, if you really want the millisecond position. And generally you want it to sleep for seconds or points of a second, not milliseconds. Uh, but yeah. Let's get on with it. So, um, first of all, we're going to say love.graphics.print um, delta time uh, to string love graphics. Uh, or no, no, why am I saying graphics? Love.timer.get delta at zero zero. Oh, why? I, I can take today. It's going to be one of those one of those episodes, guys. <laughs> And here you can see the delta time updates every frame, so that's every frame it's updating it. And then here we can say get average. Let's see, uh, average. Average delta time. And this will be at 20. There's the average delta time every second. And it gets updated. Um, one thing that Let's say love.graphics.print. This measures the time between two frames. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, step. I'm not entirely sure how to use it either, but uh, it's it's there. I'm not sure why you use it because it doesn't return anything and it doesn't take anything, but it's there. Love to string love that timer that step. Yeah, step. It's it's oh, weird. Okay. I'm gonna have to probably print that to the console, but uh, it's a weird thing. Um, let's just remove this for now. Uh, we will print it here. Print love that. Oh, love that graphics. Was, I was saying graphics, wasn't I? Oh, no, love that timer. I was saying. Uh, print love that timer dot step. There's some things happening in the background. As you can see, there it prints it once, but it's there's no value. Uh, I don't know why you would use this. You can look at it on the wiki. Uh, love to do dot org slash wiki slash love that timer dot step. Uh, no parentheses. Um, and you can find out what it does, but I have absolutely no idea what it does, why it's there, or how it's useful. Uh, if somebody wants to correct me, I will make an annotation in the video, uh, giving why. The next thing that we can do is we can say, um, we could say timer equals zero, time equals two, uh, timer is, is basically code to make a timer, plus, actually we'll say love dot, uh, love dot, love dot timer dot get delta. Just since we're reviewing the the delta module, if timer is greater than or equal to time, uh, the time is two seconds. So and adding dt will basically add it like a second. So if the the value of timer is greater than or equal to two, which is checks if two seconds have passed, then love dot timer dot sleep. Let's say for zero point five seconds, and it it basically pauses the entire. Uh, I think that actually we need to reset that. Uh, as you can see, it lagged there because it was. Uh, it actually sleeps the entire thread, and the thread is what the game is running on. And uh, it's like the the uh, how do you explain it? It's the thread. It's the process, and it basically stops. It's like so the game's running on a, a little thread, like in a pipe, and then whenever we call love to graphics asleep, it cuts off. Uh, the game so the game can't move forward anymore for the amount of time we specify in sleep so it'll be moving along and then boom it can't move anymore for 0.5 seconds and then it's able to move again then it stops and then it can move again for two seconds and then it stops and that's what timer uh that sleep does it sleeps the entire game but anything updating in the process i think still updates but uh yeah 
little timer dot sleep. It's good for it basically sleeps the uh, thread and threading is something I will get into much much later on. Here is a very very useful one. Love dot graphics dot print uh, current FPS to string uh, love dot timer dot get FPS at zero forty and our current FPS 41, 60, and of course it stops and it drops to zero whenever it stops because the entire game stops, goes to zero. Uh, and there we go, because I still have that, that code there. And uh, the next thing, I uh, love that graphics, that print. This is the final thing, I believe. Um, time to string love that timer. time at 0 60 now this is pretty weird uh, this isn't your systems clock your system clock uh, well it might be this might be uh, the the seconds since the day has started according to my clock I'm not sure but um, this basically gets the amount of time since some time has passed uh, starting time is unknown this should be used to measure um, what's now like you would have a starting X as love graphics or love time or get time and then uh, end x and then you would take start x away from end x or end x away from start x and uh, that will basically measure the points in time between two things so um, it's hard to explain you would have start time and then wait for like and then uh, go on for say a thousand times go uh, do something a thousand times and then uh, get the value of end x which gets the time after those a thousand things have been after that, those a thousand tasks have been done, and uh, subtract it, and then make the value of end x and get that get the time and subtract it away, subtract both values away from each other. It's kind of hard to explain. Like you would have a start x equals um, love dot graphics dot get or love dot timer dot get time, and then uh do stuff and then end x equals love that love that timer dot get time and then uh time equals um love that timer or the start x take away end x now obviously this isn't gonna work and then the print uh time of, of course this isn't gonna work but if we print time, then it will print the time between start x and end x. So that's the end of this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and uh, share it with your friends. They think they'll find it useful. But that's going to be it for this tutorial. My name is Sonic2KK and I will see you in the next tutorial.